And anyway, I fa finally fall asleep, and the next morning when I wake up, there was some beautiful sunshine, sun rays coming in. I had this very, uh, I had a mosquito net type. It was a orange mosquito net that I had brought from Bali, and I had it kind of spread on the top of the ceiling. And the light was hitting this orange mosquito net, and it was spreading all over. So I wake up. Obviously, I realize I'm not dead. And um, I was a bit bummed out. I was bummed out. And a part of me was happy that I was alive. But it, it was like, I, I want this. Because it was kind of like the beloved appeared. And uh, you were excited you're joining your beloved, you're excited that you're going to be hugging your beloved, you're going to be making love to your beloved, and uh, no, it's not there anymore. So, I don't think and don't feel death is a bad thing. I'm open to it, and whenever it wants to come, I'm ready to go for it. It's a transition. It's a journey. In my opinion, obviously, I haven't been on the other side and come back a year after to tell you what's going on. We have heard stories, uh, especially in early stages of my life, being exposed to some religious talks and talking about heaven and hell and blah, blah, blah. And then later on, as I uh, matured, I realized those are just stories and and uh, I, n I couldn't buy into the whole story of heaven and hell. Um, I mean, when I hear about heaven, to me it's boring. Um, I don't think I want to be somewhere that is all... Da -da -la -la -la, and I think you get bored after 100 years or something if you're in heaven. That kind of heaven they're talking about. I think it's not exciting. It's very boring with a lot of other people who are very holy. So I'm not into that. And the heaven, they're ta the hell they're talking about, that doesn't make sense to me either. That you're going to be in this place, that you're, go you're in the fire, and and you're suffering all the time. No, uh, uh, uh. I think the hell they talk about is here, and a lot of people are in it already. So that story I very quickly dismissed and couldn't really buy it. Um, now let's talk about grief. That's a natural phenomena that when we lose someone we love naturally we're going to be missing him. M my experience of losing three people that were very close to me and I dearly love them and do love them, my experience was that they moved into my heart. I feel them now more than I feel them, felt them ever before. Something shifted. Before, I would think about him every once in a while. And of course, there was a strong love between us. After their death, I can feel him very strongly in my heart. Very strongly, more than ever. And that feeling has not changed. I mean, my best friend passed away in 2012 or 13. And to this day, I feel his presence. Uh, I lost my sister in 2003. I feel her presence very strongly. And I lost my father in 2015. All of them, I feel them very strongly in my heart. So... If death was the end of the story, then, I mean, I'm just being 
practical with it. And uh, so if it was the end of the story, why am I feeling them so strongly? Why there is this presence of them? That sometimes I can feel them in my cottage, some, uh, where if I'm traveling, if I am um, in the desert, if I'm by myself somewhere, I feel the presence. Sometimes I hear their voices as if they talk to me. And I don't feel like I'm delusional. I just can hear them talking to me or telling me to do something or not to do something or giving me a message. Or I can feel like something's hovering around me and is touching me or caressing me. But as far as uh, grieving goes, that's a natural, very natural thing because you no longer have this person physically next to you and of course even though that you feel them very strongly in your heart nothing's in comparison in having them physically near you so you can touch them and hug them and kiss them and hold them in your arms of course I prefer that we all do that. But we have to shift our consciousness. We have to elevate um, and change the way we look at things. If we want to be free and view death differently, not as a bad thing, but as a transition that takes place and it's natural because the entire nature follows this this law and what makes me think that it's a bad thing and what makes me think is a bad thing is my conditioning is the way I was brought up if we were in a society or we grew up in a culture that embraced death and would celebrate it. So if somebody you love, they would pass and we would be celebrating their passing as a transition to a different dimension or the whatever you want to name it. We, we can call it anything we want. But what's the difference between if I feel that there is a sense of I am, I know I am, there's a presence, which I cannot imagine that if my body dies, this I am, anything is going to happen to it. As far as I know, it's eternal. the consciousness, the awareness of the presence of this person, where would it go? How would it end? Which to me is impossible, but the body naturally is going to terminate. So you can have a belief system that when you die, it's over, it's finished, or whatever. This fear that we have of this place that we're going to be going because it's unknown. And generally, there's this major fear of this unknown. But you don't know. It may be 100 times better than this life you're living. Why would you believe that it's a really a bad thing? Why not? Isn't that a belief system? How do you know it's a bad thing? Who do you know who died and came back? Maybe if it's really a bad thing, some people would come back and would say, you know what? I don't dig it. I'm, I'm coming back. 